Oh, right, here we are. Um, if you notice, I have the fuse out of the panel. Oh, yeah, let me uh, start back here a little bit. I'm working on the red Ford. And I decided I am going to track down the short circuit. And there are several ways to go about doing it. But the easy way uh, to track it down is to take out the fuse and wire in a test light. Okay, now, the, now electricity will flow as normal. But when the power is shorted to ground, the light will come on. And you, you will have then found your short. So, we're going to go ahead and cycle the trailer brakes. I'm probably going to go ahead and do away with this. Let me get back here farther. All components are plugged in, by the way. Uh, okay. Notice, the, watch the uh, dash lights. I don't know if you can see them flicker on camera. But this means that the brake lights are working. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and come up here. I'm going to pull on the four ways. Okay, I've got the indicators lighting up. And one more thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and switch the power on. And I'm going to try a turn signal. Ah! I've got the turn signal on. And the light is lighting. The short circuit is in the steering column. But, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the lights from the front of the vehicle and try and try this test again. But I'm pretty sure that I've located the problem. It's in both spots. Uh, if it was in the front of the vehicle, it would be limited to one side, typically. But since I have a short circuit either side, it's going to be the problem, probably. All right, so. Let's get out here and see what I can find. Okay, well, okay, uh, as they say. Uh, everything is unhooked under the hood. And I'll go ahead and try this test once again. Uh, brake lights, no. Uh, four ways. Okay, you see the indicator here flashes, and the indicator here flashes. And when I push the brake, I have nothing. And of course, I'm going to activate the uh, trailer brake a few times. But, turn this off. And as soon as I energize the turn signal circuit, the test light comes on. Therefore, indicating the short circuit. That's one quick way, or one way to uh, find a short circuit, is disconnect everything from a circuit and see about, you know, bypassing the fuse or wherever you're at. And when you find, and, and maybe, you know, di you know, reconnect each component one at a time. And when you find the short circuit, your test light will light up because you're actually connecting your path to ground then. And it's, I've never thought about doing that, but I tried to, that's, yeah, I learned how to do that recently. But that, that really works. So, what we've learned is that we need a turn signal switch. I think I might have one, I don't know. All right, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. It's chewed up. All gone.
stick a fork in this bad boy because it's done. Yep. I don't know how much a new turn signal switch is. You can get these cams right here. You can get these cams replaced, but you'll probably have to, but they're too much trouble to put in. It's broke anyway. Yeah, get rid of all this crap in here. First I was going to put a steering column in it. But actually I might not have to. I might be able to just get all this crap cleaned up. For a long time I thought that was a problem. But it's not. Alright. Hmm. Huh. First time I'd ever had focus issue. Yep. Oh yeah, another project. Uh, make the gauges work. Uh, he said the fuel gauge doesn't work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. I think it's got sender problems. I don't know. We'll be getting into that. And also the emissions light. I think it's supposed to come on too with the key. Hell, I don't know. We'll get into that later. Alright. Thanks for watching. TGIF!